Nobody can defeat me when I'm Super 17. That wasn't an impression. That's Chuck Huber, the voice actor for Android 17, Emperor Pilaf, Garlic Jr., Android 13, Super 17, Hie, Kulalu, the dude who created the dog that everyone said about, and many, many more roles. The reason why we're collabing together is because Chuck Huber asked me if he and his friend Brittany could be able to join onto my stream to help support a charity. Both me and Chad got to ask Chuck a lot of questions. We got to play some Fall Guys together, and we ended off the night playing some Fortnite together. It was pretty crazy. If you really liked the video and want to see me collab with different voice actors and such, then it would really help if you either like, comment, subscribe, or hey, do all three, that works. And down in the description, I put a link towards the charity that both Chuck and Brittany are a part of. Even if you have no money to give, that's completely okay. Just as long as you share it, it helps out a lot. I hope you take care of yourself and enjoy the video. So let me let me go ahead and tell them this story. So Brittany was okay. a fan yes. who came to a convention and she was, uh, you know, extremely shy. She's special needs. She's, um, you know, government assistance. And she made me this cute little plushie. And I was like, oh my God, this plushie is so amazing. You should make plushies for my table and I'll sell them. And so we started connecting that way and hung out at more and more conventions till we became friends. And now she shows up at all my Houston shows and helps run, do my crowd control and table work. She's, uh, she's the hostess with the mostess now, but she does uh, because Medicare doesn't take care of dental. So that plus COVID left her with some pretty serious dental uh, needs that are expensive to take care of. And I said, hey, let's let's do uh, let's do a little fundraiser and see if we can get this uh, hand handled for you. Because I don't know, I've had bad dental issues in the past and it is the worst. And but that's when I was uh, reached out to to help with this. And I was like, you know what? I both wanted to help and also have it have it. The, I've actually have asked Chuck Huber in the past to be on my stream. So it, it worked out in two ways. So, you know. That's right. A confluence of BZ and CH. Who is your favorite character to play VA-wise? My very favorite character is he uh, And that's because I'd never met any fans until uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. They, they brought me to a convention and they were like, hey, you're going to sign autographs. And I was like, you're insane. Nobody's going to want my autograph. And they're like, no, you're crazy. Everybody loves Hie. And then uh, I thought, I didn't think anyone would show up for my autograph. And then I signed autographs for four hours. And it was uh, it was all because of uh, Hie. So he's my favorite for that reason, because that's how I met the fans. Uh, but if you had to say, like, who's my most awesome character, it's probably Android 17. He's just had a really good run. So he's, yeah. he's obviously been the best i definitely really like android 17 i first saw i first went up to chuck because of um peel off but i definitely as time have gone on and i've just seen like more android 17 stuff i just yeah i definitely really like that role especially like in super it was really cool uh red gambit asks which android 17 design is the best og super or super 17 i mean i could go i could go like opposite and just blow everybody's mind and be like, Super 17 was the best. Not Dragon Ball Super, but Super yeah. 17. He's, uh, he's for sure the, the most, well, I, the original Android 17 isn't that intimidating to look at. Um, super 17 is super intimidating to look at. Android 17 was only intimidating in OG DBZ because of how he behaved. He and his sister were like sharks. They just didn't care. Rat. Oh, uh, Chuck, somebody wants your, uh, si Super 17 quote. Nobody can defeat me when I'm Super 17. Yo! Oh, there we go. Oh, fucking sweet as always. Freaking he said cool the line. as always. He said the line. Good, now go donate $10. All right, Mr. Huber. Yeah. Are you a Sonic or a Shadow fan, if you are into Sonic? <laughs> Even my son downstairs is... He's like, oh, <laughs> it's a tough call, but I gotta go Sonic. Mm, why so? Also, he's just so fast. Like when the um, the Sega Genesis came out and Sonic was the first like big game on it, it was amazing. Like it was the most amazing game you'd ever played in your entire life. And it was, uh, you know, OG was Sonic. So oh, someone's I asking the parking zero footage. Yeah, by the way, have you seen the Sparky Zero footage? 
Oh yeah. yeah. Have you seen any of it? It looks pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah, it looks looks pretty amazing. So Foxy asks, now BZ, let's let Shadow meet Android 17 for the first time. I think I'm I think I'm ready for that, BZ. Okay. Alright, let's let's That's get it. Let's get it. Hello. Oh, yeah. And who might you be? My name is Android 17. Oh my gosh. Android 17. Now, I remember when I fought my own androids. Are you a villain or are you an ally? It depends on who you are as to whether or not I'm a villain or an ally. Many people have found me different things over the years. Mostly, they find me dangerous. Well, that's one thing we have in common. It seems like humanity seems to always try to keep me away, despite me trying to fight for Earth. Hmm. Actually, think you and I could probably be friends. I like that. I like that. We both we both come from different backgrounds, but we understand our each other's struggles. I would like that, Android Seventeen. Good. Except now I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> 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 would you want to work for like the Sonic franchise? Like, would you want to do a voice in the Sonic franchise? Oh, sure. Yeah, and I can. I. I mean, like, if you listen to me. I would probably, I mean, I mean, I could do, a sh I could probably do a shadow voice, but not really. I mean, my voice doesn't necessarily go that low, but I could do what I could do really well is I could probably do a doctor, a doctor Eggman, uh, uh, Dr. Robotnik. Oh, I'm kind of curious what your Dr. Eggman would sound like, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to work on it. That's too iconic for me to just kind of shoot off the cuff like that. Let me think about that for a little while. while cause, I, I will say, I think your bass voice would work perfectly for someone like, um, have you ever seen Espio, the chameleon? Yeah. It definitely seems like I could see that working well with Espio just because like you don't necessarily have to be super deep voice for Espio, but like he has sort of like like the um the cadence and tone you like your normal voice has i could just see working with with him for sure all right good to know relaxing time in a bz stream is crazy yeah usually it's not it, it's a lot more n nutty a lot more in wild are you being are you being chill because i'm here i'm i'm trying to keep a little bit of professionalism uh, just <laughs> no at his inner geek is kicking in, that's why. I think Bobby here is just excited to have his friend Chuck in the stream. <laughs> Foxy says we're a lot more spicy, but we're being nice to BZ. Yeah, like, you may not know it, but Chad is, like, holding back. Because it's usually it's a lot more, a lot more, a lot more crazy, you know? Really? Is everyone being mature because I'm here? Yeah. Don't do that. Everyone's, everyone, everyone's trying to be professional. Don't do that. We're we on our best. Be Sonic, who one of my mods says, we're on our best behavior not to reflect the streamer. <laughs> Don't. BZ loves kissing chat on his hot. What? Uh, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, Chuck, you probably get this every time. Uh, yeah. But what would you say is the best advice for aspiring voice actors to get started in the industry? Ooh. Well, okay, so if you go to my website, chuckhuber.org, uh, and you click on where it says Masterclass 1.0, that's, uh, first of all, you take classes, take acting classes, wherever you can take them, not just mine, although I'll have another one coming up in uh, probably July, August. Uh, but on that web page, the Masterclass web page, there's a link, and it opens up a spreadsheet to like 70 different places where you can audition. And uh, you just, uh, most people, I, I, I recommend they start with a place called Casting Call Club, which is like the, the Craigslist of uh, voice acting. Anyone can post a job, anyone can uh, audition. So it's a great place to practice because if you don't cool. like the job of auditioning, you're not gonna like the job of acting. Because as actors, most of what we do is work really hard auditioning. And then once we get a job, that's like a gift or a bonus. That doing the actual acting work is not the job. The job is the travel, the waiting, the auditioning, the all the stuff that is the constant rejection. That's the job. 
the actual job of acting is is the easy part. So it's oh. club's a great place to figure out if you like the job. You're, what about the, what about voices that have a lot of yelling or just incredibly loud? Are those jobs difficult? Yeah, so if you have to scream a lot, it does hurt. And it's no fun to hurt your voice. Uh, and a lot of the video games will we typically end up with our voice fried at the end of a video game session. And it's been interesting because as you get older, just like all the rest of your body gets a little tired, your voice does too. And so where I used to be able to, you know, scream for hours on end and then be okay, nowadays I can do about half that. And then it takes me twice as long to, you know, recover. This game is hard. It is hard. I'm only just now two rings away. Two rings away from finishing? Oh! Yeah, I qualify. Let's go. Also, oh, Cooler says, come on, Chucky boy. Nobody can beat you because you're Super 17. That's right. I should have won. Aren't I supposed to just win naturally? That's what I'm saying. Dang, BZ fumbling again in front of the Red Ribbon Redneck himself. Don't you lecture me with your thirty dollar? But Goku dies. That that shocked me. I remember exactly when I learned that you were Android thirteen. It was when like we're like at a pizza place, right? And like you told me that, like you did like the whole "Don't you lecture me" line, and I was like, oh my god, I got shocked. Yeah. I like I like shocking people. With, they don't know that Android thirteen one. That that usually surprises people. It's, it's just a very different voice tone. That's right. It's just me being a redneck. <laughs> oh, God. Terrifying. It was. Four, I was 13 in the anime and all the games. Look at that. Look at those jumping skills from BZ. I tried to call you Andrew 17 because... Oh, you were oh God. No! <laughs> That was oh. stolen right in front of me. That was so close. You just slid and stole it. That was, now, bro, that was an actual theft. I know. An L in front of your coat? How embarrassing. Perfect. Hey there. Are, do you happen to be another android quite like me? Oh, good. Here we are in the ring, and now I have to fight you. You scrawny little android! You can't match the power of Android 619! I uh, have 600 more power than you! Now, it's 602. You gotta do the math properly. 619. 17 minus, you know, 602. But it's okay, because I have unlimited power. Well... <laughs> I'm st I'm larger. I'm stronger. I could be able yeah. to handle you easily. You're certainly stronger smelling. <laughs> yeah, I, I what? Did I forget my deodorant again? I think you did. <gasps> oh Chuck, I didn't see you. <laughs> You're shooting. Hold up. What am I doing? Oh, never mind. You got him. I'm just killing fools. Yeah. Yes. When you get the chance, BZ, you should take a little peek at the R Word channel. <gasps> Did you make something? Beal's not paying attention to his teammates, as usual. So Chuck, I do, I do a bit of a voice. He loves to project his voice onto me. I do a bit of a voice for uh, <laughs> Super Sonicu whenever, uh, like, he just says something silly and goofy, and I kind of do like this, like, little nasally voice. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. It sounds good. I like it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ooh, Kane yeah. said that there's a, a sketch. <gasps> so oh cute. my god! I need a okay. Chuck, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Uh I guess we could I could show it to you during the lob this match. It's like nothing's happening. Look in the group chat. It is that is so cool. That would be awesome. Look Can at this. Look at Look at this, uh, look at this art right here. It's of me and Android 17 playing Fall Guys. It's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And Android 17's like, man, this game is hard. <laughs> it is hard. 
Fall Guys do be pretty hard. Actually, oh, I thought I have a really good question for you, Chuck. Out of all of your, out of all the voice roles you do for Dragon Ball, right? Which one would you say would be like a good Twitch streamer? Like, which 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 one of them do you think would be a natural streamer? <laughs> um, so Emperor Pilaf would definitely be the most entertaining. A Twitch streamer, but I think Android 13, like he would, he would definitely be a, a a unique Twitch streamer. Android 17 would be a pretty standard spectrumy Twitch streamer because I always consider Android 17 to be uh, pretty much on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so he he'd probably be the most popular and most famous. But I can I see would, that for sure. I would like to watch Emperor Pilaf or Android uh, 13's Twitch stream. Just imagining Emperor Pilaf being on a stream and I'm like... Driving. I think, why you're driving crazy? We're, uh, we're in a river. You've got to get us out of here. I could... <laughs> I could imagine, you know, you know how like Emperor Pilaf is trying to take over the world, but also get a lot of money since he's usually like broke and trying to get food. Right. I could imagine Emperor Pilaf being like, "Ooh, everyone, please follow so you can join the Emperor Pilaf army, but don't forget to subscribe to give me money." <laughs> oh God, that's crazy. <laughs> It's also, he's always constantly, Pilaf always gets mad over every little thing. I can imagine Android 13 being a rage streamer when he starts losing. <laughs> I could see that. What would Garlic Jr. be like as a streamer? Yeah, very angry. I think a lot Definitely. more, a lot more pissed off than Pilaf, that's for sure. Yeah, he's like Pilaf's grumpy cousin. Honestly, yeah, out of all of them, I do see 17 doing the best, but I would like to see Pilaf stream the most yeah uh 17 would definitely be the best one. i can imagine garlic having a giant pile of broken controllers behind him while streaming it's totally true he would get really angry and then go into his like buff form and then just like smash like his desk or controller i imagine that kabito would be he probably would stream and just be really confused and probably not say a lot no he'd be pretty terrible he probably he definitely would fumble a bit on the on streaming there sonicu has a voice acting redeemed for you yeah i was about he, to say that he wants you to read out shu what is this gritty these peons are doing when they kill me with their cheating ways yeah what is this gritty with the kill me the cheating ways uh shu <laughs> That's the best I could do. Sorry. But is I'm not as uh, skilled as BZ. I, I don't know how he plays games and talks at the same time. It like I said, it's just been a skill cuz I um I had been I had started doing this back in 2021 and it kind of it it like it it took me he usually ignores chat when I'm focused up. Uh Hepu was asking uh, Chuck, if you have an answer, what would you say is your favorite fusion? No, uh, go, I'll say Gogeta. Gogeta? That is a pretty good one. Just to, just to say something. Okay, You're... no, if we're being honest, my, my real favorite fusion is Nina oh. and Alexander from Full Metal Alchemist. Again, shame uh... on you, Chuck. <laughs> okay. There it is. Uh, Shoo, what is this gritty these peons are doing when they kill me with their cheating ways? Yeah! Thank you so much! That's, that was so good.